And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got Diamond Dynasty Baseball tonight. It's the Houston Astros taking on the Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Here it is. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, and stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. Houston, the shortstop, Jeremy. Pena. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses, and we're underway. Swing at a ball lifted to center field, and there's one down. And next to hit for Houston, Jake Myers. Second, the center fielder, number six, Jake Myers. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Next offering is in for a strike. Right hander kicks deals. No score just getting started top of the first. Nope. The next pitch misses one and two to Cal. The punch out there two away. Here's Jordan Alvarez. The left fielder number 44. Jordan Alvarez. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering is downstairs. One oh. Here's a one one. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Next offering is down low. And that's ball three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. Back here in New York, here is Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And here it comes. And there's a ball. Ball to strike. That one missed. Rolled over to third, and that squirts through. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. And here is Anthony Rizzo. First baseman, Anthony Rizzo. In there for strike one. Valdez moves to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. And yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. Little chopper rolls foul. The pitch. Three. This one in the dirt, throws down to first, but he wasn't going anywhere. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. Giancarlo Stanton. First offering misses badly for ball one. Grounded to third, could be two. One at second. 
On to first, double play, and that's the inning. Back now in the Bronx. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. The pitch. The second baseman. Jose Altuve. And that's outside. Out to short. Peraza picks it up, zips it across. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Here's Kyle Tucker. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Strike two. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Next pitch is downstairs. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Next offering down in the dirt. No score here in the second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Here's Alex Bregman. The third baseman is a two. Alex Bregman. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Here's a one one. And it's fouled away. This ball's chopped to the ground. Donaldson tosses the first in time. And they get Bregman for the out. And that is that. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Aaron Hicks. The wind of the pitch. Fielder, Aaron. And that one just missed off the outside edge. This has always been the better side for Aaron Higgs. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And the pitch. And that chance handled. Sends it to first. And Hicks is out. Here is the that young is phenom, Glaber Torres. Second baseman, Glaber Torres. That one's in there, 0 1. Oh, the nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Next what offering upstairs. And one and two. Next one in the dirt. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Bregman to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Two outs, bases empty. Oswald Peraza getting ready to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Two outs. And that one handled. Gets it to first, and that is the inning. Top half of the third inning, and now the first baseman, Nico Goodrum. Leading off from Houston, the first baseman, the pitch. Nico Goodrum. 
And there's the strike. When you look at the Yankees and think about all those retired numbers, in fact, no more single digits are available with the exception of zero. Chris, what stands out to you? Well, for me, it kind of explains why I wore number 80 in spring training with the Yankees, other than the fact I wasn't going to make the team. Uh, you look at it, it is pretty difficult, if you would say, as a guy that gets drafted or signs with that team to think of, man, how am I going to get comfortable with the new number? Because there's not many options left. Now it's Jason Castro. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And the right-hander deals. And fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. And down on strikes. And two away now. Fromber Valdez Batting up next up. for the Astros. The Fromber Valdez. In there for strike one. Bounce to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. And that turns the lineup over. The batter, Jeremy two. Pena Short up time. next for the Astros. First offering misses the mark. In the air right side. Stanton is there. Squeezes it. And that'll do it. Back for more from the Bronx, set for the bottom of the third. And now Leading here is Josh Donaldson. The third baseman. Valdez Jump. back to work. Donaldson. And ball one. And that one fouled off. The 1-1. One -one. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, not a whole lot behind that pitch. It's off speed, but it still stings. Getting hit by a fastball is a whole different story. Here's Jose Trevino. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. And out number one on the grab. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. And the batter now, Jamison Tyon. The pitcher, Jamison Tyon. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I'll tell you. And it's such a good feeling when you smoke the line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Next offering is fouled back. At the belt and fires. There's a strike. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. 2-2 Two -two down. And another ball. And a swing and a miss. Now two out. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. You know, this is kind of a Anthony. tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And that's in there for strike one. Two. 
And that skips in the dirt. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And the next offering misses. It's two and two. They try to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Right side. Sends it to first. Out number three. Back in the Bronx. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Jake Myers. The center fielder number six. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next offering is in the dirt. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Kicks and fires. Foul ball. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Chopped left side. Not in time. He legs it out. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Got him. And there's one down. We'll say Altuve up to hit here. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. First pitch, and he has to get out of the way. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. Tyon with the move to first. Myers back in standing. One and two now. Altuve waits. Stays alive. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next offering is fouled back. Myers leads off first with one away. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Judge is there. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two down. So next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. Have to say, he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. First pitch doesn't find the zone. When you think about it, he may be in the league for the next 10 or 15 years. Next pitch misses inside. And it's two and one. And there's a ball. And a pitch. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches. And somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Tie on with the move to first. Tucker back easily. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Bregman in the box, lays off for ball one. Two on, two outs. And he gets Bregman. And that is that.
Ready to go. Bottom four. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. The, the right fielder. Giancarlo Stanton. Good eye right there. Ball one, no fight. That one Two missed. Balls, no fight. And now the lefty. And a foul ball. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Next one misses. Three and one now. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And that one finds its way through. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And Hicks is out. Here's Glaber Torres. Now batting second baseman, Glaber Torres. Fought off foul. The 0 1. Now 1 and 1. On the ground, Pena handles. Whips it across. That's out number three. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning. And here's the first baseman, Nico Goodrow. The first baseman, Nico Goodrow. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, he gloves it. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within now the third back. or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's two away. And now stepping back. in for the Astros, Framber Valdez. And now Valdez. time is called as there's a visit to the mound. Just talking things over, nobody getting loose out in the pen. So a little consultation. And that one wrapped foul. Kicks and deals. Swings through that. I got the count. Oh, and two. Oh, Next one. pitch misses. Yeah, the count one and two. Swing and a miss, and that's that. Back at Yankee Stadium, and now Oswald Peraza. For New York. Not short and a pitch. There's a strike. Just missed. The lefty ready and a 1 1. And a foul ball left side. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. That one misses in the dirt. Time called. The 2 2 will have to wait just a second. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And it's gone. That one felt good. And they jump out front. It's 1-0.
Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Here's Josh Donaldson. Now batting third baseman, Josh Donaldson. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Out to short. Pena collects it. Whips it to first. And they take care of Donaldson for the out. Here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. Ball in the air, left field. That one carrying, and forget it. He flexes his power with that swing, and they add to their lead. It's 2 0. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's no getting to. Number well, 15. he won. Jameson. And now, Jamison Tyon. Foul ball there. Here comes a pitch. And that's down it away. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Next pitch has popped up. Brings it in, two away. It's Aaron Judge now. Let off the game with a strikeout. The center fielder, Aaron Judge. And the first pitch misses for ball one. To third, Bregman handles. Rolls across the diamond. Judge out on the play. That's the inning. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six and now the shortstop Jeremy Pena well after putting up a nice inning on offense got some runs across this is where you look for the starter to go out there have a shutdown inning don't give that other team any hope uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning get the bats back up there while they're hot next offering is in for a strike and it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today good fastball excellent slider but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Hard hit, right side, and foul ball. Righty delivers. Lifted in the air, right center field. Takes it in for the out. Here's a speed threat, Jake Myers. Time called now as the pitching coach makes his way to the mound. A couple of relievers warming up out there in the pen. Donaldson fires over to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Here's the left fielder, your Don Alvarez. New arm out of the bullpen, Wandy Peralta. Trying to protect this lead. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way, gone. Jordan Alvarez circles the bases, and they slice into the lead. It's 2-1. That pitch was intended to stay inside, but it leaked out over the middle of the plate. Hitter waited on it, and he connected just perfectly. 
stepping in the long ball threat Jose Altuve. Oh for yeah, one he was robbed of a hit on a diving Jose catch his first time Altuve. off. And the pitch. On a line out towards center. Judge makes the catch and that'll do it. Welcome back. Now the number two hitter, Anthony Rizzo. Leading off for the game. And he deals. The first baseman, Anthony. Bounced up the middle. Rizzo. In plenty of time to first, Rizzo out of the play. Singy four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan and he said to me hey kid you hit a home run in the game tonight come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit stand at the plate now that's ball one The next pitch misses two and oh. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two when I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me and said you're trying to put me out of. Bed. Oh diving stop gathers and throws and that's a great play for the out. Great cat like reflexes right there lays out knocks the ball down yeah. and then fires with yeah. that rocket arm all the way across the diamond man put this guy in the mouth. Two outs base is empty Aaron Hicks at the plate. 0 for 1 so far. And a foul ball. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Line drive. Myers makes the catch, and that'll do it. Jonathan Loisica taking over on the mound, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now Kyle Tucker and the pitch. Ground ball right side. Torres fires over to first. And Tucker is retired. So digging in, Alex Bregman. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Right side. What a play in right field. And that quickly, two away. Nico Goodrum up here. Nico Goodrum. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The next offering misses. One ball, one strike. The tying run at the plate. Off the mark there. Now two balls and a strike. That one fouled off. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Ryan Stanton out of the bullpen now, and he'll go into the sixth spot in the lineup following the double switch. Oledmis Diaz, he'll move into the ninth spot in the lineup. Now playing third base and batting none. Number 16. Back here in New York, here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Leading off for New York. The pitch. The second baseman. That's the third. Torres. And he'll be safe at first. 
So up next, Oswald Peraza. He's already homered here in this one. In there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. And it's even up. Runner at first with no outs here. And a one two. Swing and a ball lifted in the air left field pretty well struck back there. Turning looking and that one is gone. Another homer, his second home run of the game, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 4-1. That pitch looked like the splitter, but normally doesn't stay that high in the zone. The bottom falls out, at least to bring it around belt level, but that one just stayed up, and with that kind of velocity, now it's going to get hit really hard, as it did right there. Jump. Now it's Josh Donaldson's no, 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 turn to hit. First offering misses the mark. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Right-hander kicks deals, and now two and nothing. Well, they gave up the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. Swing and a miss. Two and one now. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Next one misses. Three and one. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle, but I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. And down on strikes he goes, and now one away. The and here's the 39. catcher, Jose Trevino. Jose. He's already homered in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Still only one out here in the inning. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Riding to the plate. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Three, two now. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. So Ladies now a pinch hitter for the pitcher, please. Matt Carpenter. Pitch hitting. Matt Carpenter. Pinch hitting. Matt Carpenter. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Smoked on the ground a second, and it's through for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right now there. Batting. Smash that Clear one through the infield for the knock. Right. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. So a change being made at first base. And here's the pinch runner, Tim Locastro. Tim Locastro. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. 
Swing and a miss as he was late. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. Lo Castro on the run. That one fouled off two and two. Lo Castro, the runner at first with two gone. And a swing and a miss. Good job of damage control right there. Righty reliever out of the pen, Michael King. And he'll work on holding this lead. Back in the Bronx. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jason Castro. The, Astros, the catcher. Jason. The pitch. Castro. Splits the plate. And that's strike one. And he grounds one back up the middle. Tosses to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now and it's a Ledmus Diaz. A Ledmus Diaz. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. And he swings oh, and misses hell? at the initial offering. Next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. Oh. And a ball evens the count. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's two away. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Jeremy Pena. Check swing, but he went too far. 0-1. And here it comes. One Pulls that one foul. And a one two again. Stays alive. Next pitch misses, and the count is even two and two. Late swing fouled off. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and that is that. Ladies Phil Maton gets handed the, the rock out of the pen, and his now job is to collect quick Castro. outs and keep his team Number within striking Indian. distance. Phil. So digging in, Phil. Anthony Rizzo. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And another ball. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way, gone. Anthony Rizzo circles the bases, and they boost their lead. It's 5-1. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off. So up next, Giancarlo Stanton, one for three. Now batter, the right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Jack Swing went around. Strike one. And ball one. 
part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. And now before the one-two, time is called at home plate. One-two now. And the one-two misses to even the count. Just missed. And that's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And at first, now here's Aaron Hicks. On the ground a second might be two. There's one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Two outs. Base is empty. Here now is Glaber Torres. The second baseman. Glaber Torres. And first offering is fouled off. Just missed. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. Next pitch misses way outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a three one count. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Two down. Nobody on. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed now his bad. spot. Hitter didn't That's offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Late swing, fouled off. Torres off of first with two away. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. Swings and misses, inning over. New inning getting started. Now, Jake Myers. Leading off for Houston, the center fielder, number six. King, Jake back to work. Myers. Swings through that oh, one. one. Yeah. There's a strike. No ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One down. And now it's going to be your Don Alvarez. Your Don Alvarez. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Right handed reliever. That one to first. And that's just foul. The wind of the pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And now the Astros are down to their final out.
Jose Altuve now at the plate. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. A wind of the pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Next pitch in the dirt. Now one and two. Two outs. Nope. Bounce to the left side. And that is the ball game. What a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long.